And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Slavia Prague, and they take on Fenerbahce. Well, the visitors have it all to do here, Derek. But a quick start, an early goal, and they'll be right back in it. This should be good today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Well, here's the starting 11 for Fenerbahce. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a diamond in midfield, which allows them to dominate the central area, but does leave them exposed out wide. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game, that's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. A decisive clearance it was. They've lost it. Now he must favour the cross. Foiling them effectively. Fruitful looking attack. Tremendous ball played through and fired against the crossbar cleared away well I'm still amazed that stayed out he looked to have done everything right didn't he really good block might still be able to do a bit of damage and the keeper was finally able to claim it well what a great piece of goalkeeping firstly the save and then the recovery brilliant from him Diego Rossi Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Chance to run at them. And deliver towards the back post. And not cleared away properly. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And a chance for him on the flank. Well, options at the back post here. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Well, that's one for them to pursue. It just needs to remain icy cool. 
into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, they no longer have the ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Dangerous looking through ball. And just has to remain calm. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Oh, moving it nicely. Great opportunity. Keeper getting the touch. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Playing with purpose and control. Can he finish? He's got acres of space. Surely. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. There to win it back. Ozil. A chance to whip it in. Excellent challenge. Alexander Bach. And they know they need to stop him. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And over comes the corner. The corner conceded. What can they do with this one? What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a corner there that really lacked guile. An effective challenge. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. A glorious chance. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And played short. Dangerous ball. He knows he's got to react. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And play halted, free kick given. Well, it's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case opting not to book him. Onayinka Tomasz Holish and he's broken free a goal to give them a 1-0 lead an excellent value for that advantage you've got to say
Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. The aggregate lead is 4-2. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Well-timed tackle. Tisserand. The first half here comes to an end. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Jakub Romada. There's a slide draw pass. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. And going forward with purpose, Ozil. And players waiting in the centre. Could be! That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. So a personnel change then. Inca. Alexander Bar. Could cross it in here. A deep delivery. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Takes it on. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Alert defending. Rossi. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now, can they create something? A glorious chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good, controlled finish. The 
the aggregate lead they have stands at five goals to two. Pelkas. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Marvellous pass from Mesut Ozil. Well, just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Well, they've decided to make a change. Polish. Still possibilities. Really good block. Now sending it in. Danger averted. Long way out. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Kim Ozil beautifully disguised ball into the advanced position but ultimately up a cul-de-sac now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one really good attacking play could be troublesome not messing around with that clearance Ozil, opportunity here, oh yes, a goal, exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Just look at this again, the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Festival of attacking football. 5-3 on aggregate. Good technique displayed. Played towards the back post. And the danger cleared. Pelkas. Well, not hard to read that pass. Stanchio. He's in with a chance. Will he? And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Plenty of work for the scoreboard operators on this tie. 6-3 on aggregate. Irfan Can Kavechi. And there is the whistle. It's going to be quite the party now because they're through to the Champions League final. Well, what a good win that was over the two games. Their attacking play has been brilliant. If they can repeat that in the final, they have every chance of lifting the trophy. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick.